I remember my first peak ever into BTCE. This was still triple digit. Didn't even have a thousand users. And then it's uh, the first Bitcoin craze. I, I kind of remember this hit, hitting 3,000 real quick. And I think that's when I did my first little video and review of one of the Fontas pumps. Um, if you want to watch that, it's on my channel, Fontas Pumped NMC. And I kind of walked through a review of it. And now seeing 10,000 people here, I've seen it up to 12 or 13 actually. There we go, 10-4 reached. So now we're gonna probably see this fly. Yeah, I was here to catch it. Um, seeing 10,000 people in here talking at the same time, trying to all fuck each other over basically is <laughs> hilarious to watch. Okay, a couple more minutes has passed, we're back. Interesting watching the troll box move. It kind of makes you ask yourself too, like just watch to go from two and a half dollars to $10 in a week and a half. Um, and it just went from from nine nine the, the hard barrier it couldn't reach it tried three times it finally got over it went to ten and a half ten point six ten point seven or whatever and then dropped back down to nine 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 and a whole bunch of people just sold um seeing this huge spike you guys that sold in my humble opinion are silly if it breaks this big barrier just just even having the ability to think one day ahead just one day not even this next like five minutes and oh my god it's crashing it's going up it's crashing you you panic sellers and buyers one day um i can't imagine what it'll be at tomorrow and i, I really don't see it going below nine too many more times or ten too many more times back to the nines okay we're back about a half an hour later 11 2 another huge candle bigger than the first even actually and a little correction and probably up to 12 in the next hour who knows maybe 15 to 20 like this guy's saying here maybe that will be reached Okay, I'm doing one last little thing here. I've uh, been analyzing for the last little bit, making a hard decision whether I want to dump in more or pull out or what. And I've decided to go into my reserves, get another 20 Bitcoins and buy in on this dip because I still think we're going to be climbing a heck of a lot higher than this. And this could be an opportunity for me to get burned pretty big um, or it could be an opportunity for me to continue my climb, bought in at 9, 8 or whatever it was this round and uh rode this climb so now even here on this drop most people would get excited and think oh my god i better get out before i get back down to breaking even and they'd sell here so instead of getting out i'm actually doing the reverse i'm going to go back in i'm going to buy another 20 bitcoins 19 bitcoins worth of ltc should be almost at 3000 maybe 2800 ish uh, and then maybe get out at like 15 to 20 when this goes up to 15 to 20 which hey i think might happen in the next 24 hours so here we go i'm going to purchase this and we'll see where we end up i'm not going to do it right the second while recording i'm just going to wait until i have a good opportunity to get in i have 19. this will be about down to here okay i'm going to i'm going to pull the trigger here it's starting to get a little uh chicken but i'm i'm in i'm in let's go okay so now i am up to almost 2700 and now instead of watching this and being worried and going i should have bought i should have sold i'm going to stop the video turn it back on in about a half an hour take a note we're at 10.99 almost at 11 dollars again all right shit i really just wish i caught that i just decided to do something a little nutty and sold some of my ltc and bought nvc because it took a huge spike but i got a little secret I think I was the only other person that was doing any volume. I picked up um, enough that I almost cleared the book here and it jumped up. This jumped up more and I started creating sell orders. I think I had like 600 or so NVC. I started creating sell orders um, in batches of like 100, 190, 86, 45, just in a few increments of dollars going up and people were still buying them. So whoever this is, good luck. And whatever happens from here, I think I'm just going to keep this on for a second. Um, I got in just before it took over LTC and got out in increments up to like 14 bucks. So I just made like a quick G, 1400 maybe on this in the last like literally five minutes. And I decided to turn this back on thinking there might be enough time for me to get back in here and keep going on this. But I don't think I want to risk it. However, just for the shits and giggles of this, let's do at least a little bit. I'm going to put a G in. Let's buy like 56 of these. E, then it's going up to almost 20 bucks uh there it is it just went up to 26 bucks
no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I think this is just going to be a quick scan, pump, and dump, and out they go. The order book's almost cleared, so there's only really one way for it to go. And if anybody buys up to 50, you guys are retarded. Excuse my English. I shouldn't say retarded, but I, I got a little money out of it. I think now I'm being greedy, and in most people's cases, this is where you fuck up. You start thinking, okay, I'm going to get back in there now and get out at 40. And just when you think you're going to get out, somebody else dumps before you, and there's already a big one right there. Okay, final bit of the video, I'm going to close this up. Looking at all my tools, uh, Crypto Boss, looking at the daily high just hit, or a recent high. Uh, I just got out of it on Gox with my batch there in my account. At Gox for 8.8 thousand, .8, and then on BTCE, I decided not to spend my profits from um, making that quick move on Novacoin. And just wanted to hold on to it because the markets are doing a lot of shady shifty stuff and I kind of want to wait and watch and see what to do next. So all I have right now is 2000 Litecoins in the market on these accounts. And based on all my indications, I'm gonna be staying out of the market for everything except for LTC until I make my next move. So even right now, like I sold up at 8.30, even right now if I was to buy back in, I'd, I'd make good money. Damn it, I can't seem to end this video. <laughs> I actually did end it and started to edit it. And then I started thinking, you know what? Let's go back, look at the charts quickly. Notice the NVC or NMC making moves. And I brought it myself over $3. It was at 290 something. I thought, all right, you know what? Taking a risk, throwing 8,000 something, uh, 8,700, 8,000 something, 8,500 at NMC. Brought it over three and it quickly kept going over three. And it's probably going to correct here, but we'll see. I might have just helped this little pump along. And might um, turn my 8,000 with the gains from NVC now over to more gains on an NMC spike here. So let's just see what happens. I'm going to pause this and come back to it in a few moments. Okay, it's been about two or three minutes only, but just a quick look again. It's already from uh, 2.98 where I bought it in at up to 3.5. Already spiked almost to 4. And next orders are coming in at 3.6. I'll touch quickly on uh, arbitrage too. I've stopped doing any kind of trying to loop my money around through exchanges because of the difference in variable change while you're doing your loop and because money gets stuck sometimes for longer periods than you'd like. And that can kill you in these markets when they're doing this kind of stuff. I'd rather have two to three dedicated exchanges where I do my flips, both daily and long-term stuff, and my offline wallet stuff is safe, just um, sitting there, not being used. But sometimes you get trigger happy. And right now, like, I'm glad I did, because I'm up, I don't know, five, 6,000 bucks today, just off of being active in the market while it does these big swings. So never be shy to do that with at least part of your portfolio. And I will say I've been spanked quite a few times too and i've had to learn the hard way so i got in early but i lost a lot of my coins because of dumb moves and that's just what you have to go through when you're going through your learning curve i'm still not a pro I don't, i'm confident with my moves now but i'm no pro and um the coins i have left i treat them like gold because well hey they, they're going to be worth more than gold soon <laughs> okay pause in the video again let's go back and just keep an eye on this three two it's going to probably even out here okay another little move i decided to get back out of nmc just in case this doesn't want to stay up here, um, I want to out before I lose any profit. I got in at eight and a half, so I made almost 500 bucks there within, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour. Uh, actually, more than there, right, because we started this with the NVC pump. So this originally, is, wow, so I've made quite a bit of money today just off of the random quick fluctuating movements between all these stupid pump and dumps people are trying to do and i'm just being one or two steps ahead of them trying to think two steps ahead of them and not being too greedy so now i'm actually thinking of getting right back out of my ltc as, as well um it's a tricky it's a tricky moment right now so like if i was to sell and the fill order was f indeed filled I'm walking out with twenty two thousand three hundred. i've done really well for the day um however I need to move 2,000 coins, so if I want out right now, I'd have to bounce out right here, and I'd be walking out with 22.2, 2, so 100 bucks less. Am I willing to lose 100 bucks just to get out? Of course. Um, I'm going to sit on this for 10 minutes to think about it before I make a move, and then I'll let you guys know whether or not that'll be my final move for the day.
Okay, and the day still goes on. I can't seem to end my day because these pumps just keep happening. So we're watching another little rise, a little big rise in PPC going on. I took out some of my LTC, which is still in profit. Uh, what did I take out? 500 or so, 400? Not even sure. But it translated into 1,762 PPC, and I got in at about 3. So I'm already up, again, a little more here. And I'm going to ride this out, just looking at the order books and stuff. It's growing a little quicker than normal. And I um, don't really see any fake walls or any shadiness going on just yet. Big exit there. A couple of exits there. Okay, and I got right back out. <laughs> Didn't take long for me to restart the video. All right, the markets are all over the place. And I'm getting worried overall on what's going to happen. So I just took part in this NMC pump here again. Wrote up a little bit, exited, took my profits, and now this is taking a little bit of a dive, and I'm a little worried that it's going to start getting close to this guy. So I'm just going to actually go ahead, take my profits for the night, and sleep in fiat. We'll see if me taking this down to 117 actually does cause a bit of a panic, and if people start eating away at that wall. So let's let's see. Bye bye for the night. Back into. Fiat, this dumps to 117 or 11.17, sorry. Yeah. So people aren't going to let it drop that easily and they're not going to start eating away at that wall just yet. Okay, it's now the following day. I promise this is the last part of the video. Just wanted to kind of show you guys what happens when you go to sleep and in the last minute you're like, you know what? I don't want to sit in Fiat. I'm going to take the chance again, just like I did when I went on vacation. I'm glad I got in the market before I went on vacation. So, uh, NMC, I got back in, and it kept climbing. Woke up to 6.6. Six. Got, you know, I don't know, 3, 4, somewhere over here before I crashed. So, I had 40 Bitcoins yesterday on BTCE, another 10 on Gox. So, I still have the 10 on Gox. Um, Bitcoin rose to 8.77 on Gox right now. And if I convert this back to BTC, let's just see where I ended up with. If I was to get rid of everything right now. I have 27 Bitcoins here and another 20.5 here. So I have 47 and a half. I made seven and a half Bitcoins overnight. That's another, what, five Gs, over five Gs. So I've had a great two days, pretty much made $10,000, over $10,000 in two days, not just because Bitcoin's climbing. But because I know when to switch well, now, I don't know, I got lucky, I'm going to say, or I was confident with the moves, it's not all luck, but I kept changing lanes throughout all these pumps, and yesterday was just a phenomenal day for all these pumps. Yesterday and today is a phenomenal day for alts in, in general, everywhere. Look at that, PPC just, pew. That's going to wrap it up for me, guys. I think this, this video started off with me just wanting to do an LTC hitting 10, and now it turned into like, watch... Watch me trade for a couple of days with all these bump and dumps and watch how you can climb or get spanked. Luckily this time I climbed, made 10 Gs. I think uh, pretty soon I'm going to bounce back out of these into BTC and just watch for the day. It was a late one yesterday full of brain data. I'm wiped today, so I just kind of want to take it easy and um, watch the markets conservatively. Probably be cashing out soon. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Watch for the next installment. And as a reminder, don't be shy to go check out CryptoBoss.com. Get your free analysis tool and bot setup and we'll be improving this as time goes on so that you guys can interact with the markets and analyze them much easier and with more depth than with the other tools out there okay have a great day we'll talk to you guys soon